Hello folks, welcome to the channel where I talk about web, node and developer productivity related tools. Today I am starting a series on HTML forms and that's the reason I kind of took a break in between just so that I can start on this series. Uh, and in this, this is going to be kind of a lengthy series. I'll be focusing a lot on forms, best practices. Uh, I'll be even focusing on uh, things like what you should do, what you should not do, how can you leverage the uh, browser built-in capabilities, what are, the, what are the upcoming things. And in the end, I'll be talking about how you should handle file uploads and what are the basic, basic things, uh, how you should parse the data at your backend and everything. So obviously there is some backend that's going to come into picture in this series. So yeah, let's get started. I have shared here my another monitor. Uh, here, as you can see, uh, I have a very basic Hello World thing. Uh, and if I go to browser, it has this uh, Hello World still, this is still uh, annoying COVID era. So yeah, unfortunately, we are still in, in COVID phase. Uh, I don't know when it's going to end. So yeah, anyway, so uh, before we go and start talking about forms, I want to give you a glimpse of all tags that are or that we will be using to build a form. So the first and foremost uh, tag you can think of is obviously form, right? That's the most needed form. Uh, and inside of this actual all your controls and labels and everything will go. Okay, so the most important thing is input right this this is nothing but where a user can input uh, and as in the last uh, video i have told that there are attributes that can change the appearance or behavior of a particular tag obviously there are some attributes for form tag and some attributes for input tag as well i'll give you a, a, a walkthrough of a few uh, and then I'll leave a link to a very good documentation created by Mozilla folks. You can go and uh, just play around with that in there. Okay, so let's take a look at the UI, what it has changed into the UI. Right, so it has created a input form and I can type whatever I want here, right? right? So I can type anything I want. So this is the very basic input. Now, uh, but this is a single line input. So when you say input, it's always going to be a single line input and there is uh, no validation and anything. I'll, I'll create a separate video just on validations uh, in, in the upcoming uh, thing in this series. The next is uh, text area. So this is something that you can uh, use to get a multi-line input from a user. Right, so here you can get a multi line input from a user. Right, uh, you can user can have a ability to even make it bigger, smaller. Uh, user can play around with it, write anything they want, and this basically internally gives you a HTML. Right, because uh, there is uh, no way you can simply store this. Uh, just like a plain text and it will again get formatted just like this right so it has to be saved as a html so when you when you take a look at its value its value is going to be your html or you can convert it to html right uh, then there are uh, other things like button right so button is something that uh, you can use as uh, submit or save or whatever you want Right. So it has now the submit button. Now, if you see the default behavior here, it is actually reloading the page, right? So if you just, just keep an eye here in this on this uh, web icon, when I click on this submit button, it will show that it's actually reloading the page, right? So this is the default behavior of any button, right? The by default, the button type is submit, and that's why it's it's reloading. Uh, you can create a input type button as well, right? Input type is equal to submit, 
right? So this will also create a, another submit button, right? But you don't have the flexibility of changing the submit uh, text, right? But here I can change it. So I can say save. And it will change it to save, right? Both the behaviors are same. If you see, they are doing the same thing, right? And I can say input type is equal to button. And now it won't uh, show any text, right? Uh, but it will it won't reload now if even if i click on this it won't reload but this will still reload so how do we prevent reloading on the button so you can simply do type is equal to right now this also won't reload right so this is the uh, i would say little bit of deep dive into button but yeah, these are the major things you need. And then obviously you would need different different types on input, right? So you may need radio, right? So it will give you a radio, right? Now you have a radio button. You can do a checkbox. So it will give you a checkbox. Right, checkbox. Uh, so the difference between radio and checkbox, I'll, I'll maybe create a separate video just on checkbox and this thing. Uh, but yeah, this is what all I wanted to give you a very high level glimpse on. Uh, this is a very preliminary video where I'm expecting you guys to maybe just do your own research, get yourself uh, familiar with these all tags, form, input, text area, button and, and uh, different different input types there are almost if i'm not wrong there are almost more than 12 or uh, 14 uh, different input types you can have color date uh, date time weekday uh, and, and all sort of that stuff uh, you have radio button checkbox you have select uh, you have drop downs and all sort of that stuff right so yeah, you can even use image as a, a button, right? So all sort of that stuff is is something that I'm targeting here. Uh, and if you, uh, the reason I'm targeting this as a separate series is that uh, if you go on any site, uh, you are going to see at least a form. That means if you're going to land a web development project, there are high chances, 99% 99 times out of 100 there are chances that you will end up uh, uh, creating some form and i have seen people struggling with with the forms uh, be, just because they try to do everything custom on their own uh, i just the target of this series is to make you aware of what browser gives you uh, what you can leverage and how it takes away a, a ton of effort uh, if you go via fully custom way right so that's what the target is uh, i'll leave the links to the basic things in the description uh, and i'll i'll create a fast follow up video next week on the form series until then see you and bye bye thank you for watching